All right, today we're working on a 2009 Hyundai Genesis, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Genesis, this one's going to have the 3.8 liter engine. What we're doing today is removing the air filter. So we're going to start by unclipping the breather box, getting everything ready, taking off the mass airflow sensor. We also got to loosen up this, this uh, screw clamp here. Once we loosen that up, we free up the breather tube, separate it from the top of the breather box, and start removing the top of the breather box so we can get this air filter out of here. Okay, so here we go, taking out this old air filter here. You gotta make sure everything lines up properly. See the new one versus the old one. This is your old one, this is your new one. Set this one off to the side. Now we're gonna get some air and blow out the bottom of that breather box so we get some of the contaminants out there. line up the new filter for installation once everything sits in there tight you feel comfortable with it you can put the top of the breather box back on now make sure these clips don't sit over the top of this because it won't shut right if you don't do that you want to make sure you make these clips free and out of the way now for the top of the breather box you also want to blow any contaminants out of that filter on the top this is a secondary filtration system so that, that way contaminants don't reach inside the throttle body. I'm going to set the top of the breather box back on. Make sure you get that hose out of the way. Line the hose back on there with the breather box and the breather tube. Plug your mass airflow back in. Make sure everything's sitting the way you need it to be so that, that way when you clip these on, nothing goes on sideways or nothing's obstructing the uh, seal. And you're going to line up that clamp back on there. This clamp has gotten a little bit sideways on us. There we go. Now we're lined up. Now you just tighten it down. <laughs> you want to make sure you get it nice and tight so you have no vacuum leaks. Otherwise the vehicle will die and sputter. Just a lot of problems you don't need. Check and make sure you got it nice and tight. Nope, still needs a little bit more. on there nice and tight and I dispose of the old filter and you're all done. <laughs> 